I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to write equation of an exponential transformed function from the given graph. We have two graphs here and the question is write equation the form of f of x equals to a b to the power of x plus c from the given graphs. So these are the two graphs you can study them pause the video write down your equation and then check with my solution. Now let's begin with the first graph which is exponential growth. Important things to consider here are begin with the horizontal asymptote, right? That is a key feature of any exponential function. So in this first graph, ex <coughs> exponential function is having a horizontal asymptote of y equals to 1. This translates to the value of c. Now to get the vertical stretch, we should look for the value of the function when x is 0, right? So when x is 0, at that point, the y-intercept here is 3. So the difference between the horizontal asymptote and the y-intercept y-value gives you the value of a. To find the base b, we should look for a point and then substitute that point and calculate b. Now in this particular graph, uh, at 1, we have value of 7. That's a good point to check. So using these points, we can actually find equation of this exponential function. I'll appreciate if you could pause it now and write down your equation and then check with my answer. So that's how we do. So first have a good look at the graph, identify the critical points. So what we identified was horizontal asymptote. and that is y equals to 1 and horizontal asymptote means c for us right so that means horizontal as c equals to 1 do you see that and then we identified y intercept now y intercept for us is x value 0 and the y value is 3 correct so the y value of 3 when you substitute in your equation 0 then a to anything to the power of 0 will give you just 1 so you get the value of a see how so what we will do here is in our function we will substitute 0 for x and then we get a b to the power of 0 we know c is 1 right so c is 1 so we'll write 1 here and f of 0 is the y intercept which is actually 3. So we'll write equals to 3. Okay? So from here we can say b to the power of 0 is 1 so we get a plus 1 equals to 3 or a equals to 3 minus 1 so we can write a equals to 2. So we get a as 2. Do you see that? So we got a also using y intercept and now we can use a point and in this particular case the point which we identified was this is the point at 1 the value of the function is 7 so now in this equation which we have as f of x equals to a is 2 for us right we need to find b to the power of x plus c is 1 right now we'll substitute this point x1 y7 so 7 equals to 2 b to the power of 1 plus 1 correct now at this stage 7 minus 1 equals to 2 times b or b equals to 6 divided by 2 which is indeed 3 correct so we get b equals to 3 so once you get all these values you can clearly write down your answer so you say your function here is so let me write down the answer here right on the top f of x is equals to a is 2 for us, 2, b is 3 for us to the power of x and c is 1. Do you see that? So here we have a vertical translation by unit 1 which is represented by the horizontal asymptote stretched by a factor of 2. So the difference between the y-intercept and the horizontal asymptote is 2 units vertical one unit away we got a value which is 
which is how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Times divide by 2 gives you the base, which is 3. So to find the base, one unit away, we had a point which was 6, I mean. Now to find the base, we use the point P, which is 1, 7. Substituting that point, we could calculate the value of B. So we get our function, which is 2 times 3 to the power of x plus 1. Adopt the same method and write down the equation of the second function. I hope that should not be so difficult. Let's begin by checking our horizontal asymptote. So horizontal asymptote is, is y equals to 2, right? So horizontal asymptote here is y equals to 2. That implies that c is equals to 2, correct? And then next point to check is the y-intercept. Y-intercept for us is 0 and 5, right? So 0 and 5, let's substitute in the equation. So we are considering the equation f of x equals to a times b to the power of x plus c is 2, right? If I write 0 for x and 5 for f of x, I get 5 equals to a times b to the power of 0 plus c is 2 for us, right? I mean 2 for us, okay? So now let's find what a is. a will be 5 minus 2 is equals to a. So a equals to 3 for us, is it okay? So in this case, the vertical stretch is by a factor of 3. Now we can write the function as f of x equals to 3 times b to the power of x plus 2. Now what we need to find is the base. Since it is going downwards, then the base has to be between 0 and 1, correct? So we'll use a point on the graph to find the base. Good point to select will be, well at 1 we have a point here which is 3.5, you could use that point, or at minus 1 we have 8. So let us use minus 1 and 8, I think that's a better option. So at minus 1 we have 8 as a point. So we'll utilize this point in the given equation. 8 equals to 3 times b to the power of minus 1 plus 2. So we get 8 minus 2 equals to 3, I mean 3, b to the power of minus 1. So which is 6, right? Divided by 3 equals to b to the power of minus 1. So we get b equals 2. This is this is 2, right? So b to the power of minus 1 is 2. So b is equals to half. Correct? 1 over 2. So that is how we get the value of b. And now we can clearly write down our function, which is, let me push it a bit forward for you. f of x is equals to a we found as 3 b is half to the power of x and c is 2 for us, right? So that is how you can get equation of an exponential function from the graph. Critical points are horizontal asymptote, y-intercept, and two points on either side of y-intercept. They are very critical to check, right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.